have tuned in today to know the seven beautiful things I love about my country, Nigeria. Definitely keep watching. Welcome back. My name is Eloho and I am Nigerian living in the UK. If it is the first time you're coming onto my channel or you're tuning into my channel, thank you very much. I really do appreciate you coming in and stopping by. If you have noticed my previous content, you would realize that I am um, talking about my journey here in the UK. It's mostly about my city, um, about my lifestyle as a mom, Nigerian mom in the UK, as a Nigerian in the UK even. But yeah, today I would be exposing all of you guys to the world, if I should say, to the beauty that is Nigeria. Yes, it's a beautiful country, irrespective of what has been said, irrespective of what you know is going on in the country and you know the the ills of the country, which every country has. Um, irrespective of that, it is still a beautiful country. It is still um, where I call home, where my heart will always be. And you know what? I want to tell you about the seven things I love about my country. The first thing I want to talk about is the culture of Nigeria. The culture of Nigeria is not surprising if you hear me say this as my first point because you know you might have heard it before if you are not a Nigerian. If you are if you are a Nigerian then you know you, it's not surprising also. But yeah so the culture of Nigeria is very diverse. We have our diverse people, our diverse heritage, our stories. It's beautiful to hear. I am from the south of Nigeria and I still find it particularly interesting and very fascinating when I you know read or hear about like the history of my brothers in the north in the west even in the east yes we have um, three major tribes or ethnic groups in Nigeria we have like the um, Aousa Fulani we have the um, Igbo and the Yoruba but trust me we have um, other minority groups which you know they have um, very beautiful languages and very beautiful culture in fact nigeria has about 527 languages and 1150 ethnic groups and dialects it is in our diversity that we have our beauty you can feel the beauty of our culture in like our cultural displays like the masquerades the dancing the singing what have you so yeah nigeria has a beautiful country if i start talking about nigeria here um if i start talking about the culture of nigeria here you would not we would not live here another beautiful thing about nigeria is the art we have a lovely rich display of art um, the art is mainly from the Benin kingdom we have the bronze sculpture from actually Benin kingdom the Benin bronzes were made as far back as the 13th century and they were mainly used to decorate the royal palace until it was looted by the british and other european countries there is an argument that the Benin bronzes should be returned back to the Benin kingdom where it should originally have been all these years. I totally agree. There are plans um, to build a museum in um, a worldly museum in Benin um, and a rotation system would be put in place where these European countries will, you know, um, lend, lend emphasis on land land nigeria these um arts these works of art um you know it, it, some would it, some have even offered to donate the arts back to the owners of the art very funny very very funny and interesting so another interesting thing about nigeria which most people know anyways is the fact that we like to show up and show art. So Nigerians, they like to display their wealth. They love to display their wealth. They love to, you know, show that, you know, they have the money, that they dish the money, that they, which I find sometimes very ridiculous, but you know what, do what you want to do, right? Do what you love. Do what makes you happy, basically. If so, they dish the money, then be waiting to make you happy. As in, that, if that's how you feel, you, you show love to somebody, they do you but yeah we like we love to like show the money display the money sprinkle the money spray the money you know oh one bear hey can you come back at my don't know what i'm saying but yeah we try again late Ay, we wear the back why jewelry so drip 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 everywhere dripping gold do you know we can actually make nigeria party a tourist attraction 
or am i saying am i not saying sense let me know if you think that can actually be a tourist attraction because like i said i've heard like so many comments on instagram on you know twitter saying that oh they will, people like foreigners saying that they would love to go like to a nigerian party so why can't it be like a tourist attraction because if it was abroad trust me they would have done something about that to make it a tourist attraction and so this brings me to another point the food oh the delicacies of nigeria is beyond tasteful it is so tasty it is so nice it is so sweet that you know you cannot do another one bed without you know feeling the tummy i'm looking at i think my child is going to come through that door now but anyways yeah so i think you cannot do another one bed without feeling the body because it's when feeling the tummy it is when the tummy is full that's when you can be do hey know what i'm doing but yeah so we have very nice food we have different food and the most famous one is the jollof rice yeah the fourth beautiful thing about nigeria is the fact that we are a very optimistic people we are very optimistic we are you know like people that we hope for, we are hopeful we are hopeful we hope for the future we hope that things will be better we hope in our lives apart from you know general culture um, the general situation of the country in our personal life we're always like optimistic we always believe that something good will happen if today not better tomorrow will be better if we don't eat today we are hopeful that tomorrow we'll have something to eat because we're actually very hard working so believe say any or any or must jump <laughs> If you don't know it's like if you don't know what i just said it's like um whatever the situation something must happen um we're very hopeful that um we would always you know leave the circumstance or the, the the stage that we are right now we are very hopeful that we'll leave that stage and we'll go on to a better world especially especially if we are in a poor state so we are all, always we always believe that something good will happen in our lives even if we are suffering or about to die, we always believe that something, something will just happen, sha, and you know, we we'll just catapult out of the you know mess or whatever that we are in at the moment. So yeah, we are very optimistic people, and this brings me all to the point that we are very hardworking and we take business opportunities out of our struggles. Um, okay, take for instance in school as a um, as a student in university, you know, I know that then some people used to like photocopy um their lecture notes you know and sell it to people there's always something that we can do to get out of you know whatever the situation not whatever situation shall but you know most of the situations that we'll find ourselves even in the go slow in lagos you see people selling hawking you know in that you know situation there's a business to be made you, you know <laughs> mr akman you have to stand up and go and sell or whatever <laughs> Crying. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Another beautiful thing I want to talk about here, which is probably probably the last thing I would actually mention, is the fact that we are a very proverbial society. It is quite common for you to hear elders um but trusting their point true proverbs yes so the most common one you hear it is um an elder telling you that what they can see while sitting on a chair a child cannot see even if they climb the highest tree an iroko tree yes that's the most common one so that basically means that um it, an elder can always see further than what a child can see yes so um, when they're advising you which means that when they're advising you Please try to take their advice. Another one is monkey not fine, but mama like him. Um, also, see that look na dog name. My, my dad used to say that very well. See that look na dog name. Um, <laughs> there are so many. There are so many. None comes. Uh, most of them don't don't come to my mind right now. But there are so many um, proverbs that you can you know actually hear people say in Nigeria. There's a famous um, Nigerian actor, a Nollywood actor. Pet Edoche, who is famous for his proverbs. Thank you so much that you keep coming to my channel to watch my videos. If you are my OG, for my real Gs, thank you so much for you know, stay up until this point. I really do appreciate you. I appreciate everything from the bottom of my heart. And yes, I'll end this video here so I could attend to my little one. Um, so you guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.